So now we're talking about the immune system of the body and um, what different availabilities there are to combat, say, if there was an infection. So our first question is, what should, which term describes a molecule capable of triggering an immune response? And this really comes down to knowing your definitions of these four basic uh, terms here. So first of all, an antibody, no. Antibody um, actually attaches to the uh, to an antigen and that can cause it to be engulfed by macrophages or other um, antigen presenting cells. So it's not an antibody. B, antigen. That is the correct answer because you have antigens on uh, pathogens and then they cause the immune system to to say, okay, look, I'm, I'm foreign, react to me and then um, an immune response is performed. C, a pathogen. This is incorrect. A pathogen is actually you need to know the definition for a pathogen, and that's one of the first um, definitions that you need to know in this particular topic. And the definition of a pathogen is an organism or a virus that causes disease. So it doesn't actually cause a, a, an immune response itself. And an antibiotic, obviously not, because an antibiotic, it doesn't trigger an immune response. It actually helps fight um, an infection by blocking certain pathways. Okay, so now we need to talk about HIV. What does HIV do? So HIV, does that cause a reduction in antibody production? Yes, it does. And an increase in active lymphocytes? No. You've got to think of HIV as pressing everything down. It reduces the number of antibodies, reduces the number of lymphocytes, reduces your ability to fight, to fight infection. So B, increase in antibody production. Straight away, no. We don't even need to look at that. C, reduction in antibody production? Yes. And a decrease in active lymphocytes? Yes, that sounds about right. And D, increase in antibody production? No, straight away, that's wrong. So we know the answer is C. Question three, why are antibiotics effective against bacteria? And I actually mentioned this previously, if you were listening carefully. So if we look through the, the four ones, but lots of them would be red herrings that seem to be the right answer if you don't know what you're talking about. However, if you do know what you're talking about, you know which one the correct answer is. So A, they can produce specific antibodies. So that's not actually why antibiotics are effective against bacteria. This is actually caused by um, B lymphocytes. So B lymphocytes produce antibiotics against bacteria. Okay, so it's, it's not A. I mean, it definitely is a reason why bacteria can be destroyed, but not the reason why antibiotics in, in specific are effective. So B, they can engulf foreign matter. So no, once again, that's incorrect because we're talking about, when we're talking about engulfing, you have to think about eating. Eating is phagocytes. A Pac-Man gobbling up small things. Okay, so C, they can block specific metabolic pathways. Yes, that is the correct answer. We talked about how they can block specific, specific pathways, which causes to either the bacteria to stay still so they don't grow very much, so the body can can kill them, or the bacteria can actually get killed by the bacteria, by the antibiotic itself. They can act as a vaccine. No, that's incorrect. Question four. What effect does HIV have on the immune system? So once again, we've got HIV. So if you would want to know a topic very well, you want to know HIV well. Remember what I said about HIV? Everything gets suppressed. So A, it prevents the leukocytes from fighting bacteria by phagocytosis. So it doesn't really have any effect on leukocytes, to be honest. Well, not leukocytes in general, it's more about um, lymphocytes. But, you know, let's put a dot next to it and see if we can find a better answer. It causes excessive production of leukocytes. No, because remember, everything to do with HIV is about down, down, down. Everything goes down, it's not about more. C, it destroys antibodies produced by leukocytes. No, it doesn't actually destroy um, antibodies as such. It actually destroys the, um, the lymphocytes, so the cells that produce the antibodies. Okay? So it's kind of like, say, if uh, someone was, if the HIV was, you know, uh, a protesting group, they wouldn't, um, they close down the factory. They don't destroy the goods of the factory itself. Okay? So D, it lowers the number of leukocytes, reducing antibody production. Aha, yes, that's correct. So they talked about leukocytes, but in more specific, they're talking, they should be talking about lymphocytes. But that is the correct answer. 
There are plenty more YouTube videos for you to check out, just click on the links below. If you'd like to download the questions, as well as the answers, make sure to like us on Facebook first. And finally, if you'd like to find out how I got a 7 in high-level IB biology, make sure to check out our website in the bottom right-hand corner. Thanks.